Like, I needed to pace myself a little bit more, but I used to always, I suppose it was insecurities on my behalf where I felt I needed game time. But the later I got on, like, even with the club hurling right now, I know what I need to do. Like, my game management skills have been through experience. Um, and for me, it's just getting fit again. Um, so that's goalkeeping. A big position for me then as well in hurling and football, like, is you look at centre back nowadays, like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't need a 19 year old that's going to burst all over the field, hit and thump. It depends on your game management. Um, and there are certain positions in the field where I definitely believe that experience is nearly more important than fitness. And the ability to see slightly ahead. We had Shane Ryan, the Kerry goalkeeper, on during the week, mm. and he was just talking about how in the middle of the run-up, you put your head down to, to kick the ball, and you have to trust that the run that you've seen is continued on, because when you look mm. up, all of a sudden the picture's completely changed in that split second. Mm. Now for me in Kilkenny 2000 and was it 18 or 19 in the second half I had a nightmare of puck outs um, John Myler was over us at the time and what would happen we had played a challenge match against Kilkenny earlier on that year in Parky Ring and they had done something similar where they dropped off and allowed me to go to the corner back or else pick it off but we had one or two runs kind of set up in the game and uh, breakdowns between me and the player happened and all of a sudden my run up and my strike was going where the player either should have been or I thought should have been and wasn't there so I learned after that game, didn't like that. I had to just see what was happening and judge off that rather than having set plays because in the middle of championship, you're like, you know, like for a goalie, it's fine. I'm not out of breath unless I'm after running up to take a free or you're after a around the square and you need to clear a ball. My head is probably what I need to be calm. An outfielder has to think about the run, make the run already after getting a thump of a shoulder and stuff like that. So it's the experience of kind of that is what I started to gather, you know, um, and that would have happened a lot in 17 with Pat Ryan where, and Sean O'Donnell, the stats guy with Limerick, where I changed my run from a five or six step run up to a two step run up, where I could actually see the run to the very last second rather than going for a big long run up from behind the square and then hoofing it down the field. It was just two steps. And that also stopped the wing forwards and made to preempt where I was going. You know, so like if you look at Gaelic football at the moment, like their run ups or kickouts have gotten shorter too. Because if you're an intelligent wing forward and you see a Shane Ryan or a Stephen Cluxton running away back to take a big kick up, well, you know it's going long. You know, so the run-up is actually something that we looked at in 2017 as well. I know people are going to listen in and go, Jesus Christ, whichever, what is it? But it's just that two or three seconds. Clare in 2013 were the first team I ever came up against where Davy Fitz sent these two wing forwards back the field as soon as I made my run-up because he knew I was going long and they had an extra body at the breakdown. So they would wait? and, and... Wait for my run-up to start because if I didn't run up, I was going short. Right. So if I'm going short to you at wing back, right, I just took the ball and I ping it. Yeah. I wouldn't make a five-yard run-up and then stop and slow down and break my wrist. What I would do is just ping it. But with the when I changed in, I was able to do both. Now, you might lose five yards in your distance of puckouts if you were going long, but like it stopped the other half-forward line. And I, I said this in the show last year, Brendan Maher, to me, was the best I ever played against to pick me off. Like He was reading my body language. And next thing I'd land on, i go, how is that whore after getting over there so quickly? So he'd be after reading my language of me running up and extremely going long, like, you know? Um, so that's when I had to completely change in 2017 like. 